yo every single day i wake up i'm over this more and more each day i'm over this i'm over this i'm over this welcome back to another vlog it's me andrea and i am currently just sitting in my car waiting for formation to start which doesn't start for another 15 ish minutes and it is freezing i won't even lie i'm so cold right now it is tuesday so it's a few days after christmas so merry christmas to you guys i did not do anything for christmas this year at all i really didn't do anything for any of the holidays this year there was no point i don't have my kids so there was no real reason i am in civilian clothes because this is the uniform for today we're told to Coming to formation 0730. I don't really know what they have planned today. I don't know what the activity is. For the people that are in the barracks, they have these mandatory events that they have to participate in. Luckily, I don't stay in the barracks, so I don't have to do these events, thank God, because I just, one, I wanna limit my time around the people that work in this place as much as possible, I won't even lie. If it's not my classmates, I really don't wanna be around them. And two, I don't think they had weather in mind when they came up with these events and where they're going because I don't know if it was Christmas Eve or Christmas, but they had these folks sitting outside for hours in cold weather. And y'all, I get it, it's Texas, but right now Texas is cold. And I was, no, I, I refuse. It's bad enough I be cold as hell as it, as it is all the time and you want me to stand outside in the cold and be even colder i would never warm up it's, uh. and then like the communication is off so at first i thought i had to go and i was i promise you i was gonna find any excuse to not go because no it's too cold so i don't know what they're doing now all i know is i am told that we have to either give blood or be at work on a saturday so this is honestly the reason i'm just over it. like the things that people do in the uh, Y'all, I'm so jaded these days. Like, I just hate it. I, I hate, I hate it. What is this? Like, what exactly is this? Give me the ultimatum to either donate my blood or come in to work on a Saturday in Tradoc. That's what's driving me crazy. And we're on leave, like everybody's on leave right now. I decided I wanted to save more of my leave days so I might sign out at a later date. I still put my leave form in, um, but I didn't want to use all my leave. My lips are dry. But I didn't want to use all my leave because I don't really have any plans, right? So I decided that I wasn't going to sign out right away. I'm starting to regret it. But I feel like they're purposely doing it. I feel like because of people didn't go on leave, they're purposely making things like, they're just making life shitty because people didn't take leave to be completely honest. That's what we think anyway. <sighs> but donate blood or come in on a Saturday when the training that they wanna do on Saturday, we have all the time in the world to do that training throughout this week. We still have today, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to do the training, but you wanna make it a Saturday, a Saturday. Y'all, these people, IG is that you? They be driving me crazy. So these days, I just have not been in the best mood at all. It's ridiculous. I'm over it. I'm mad I left my notebooks at home. I left all three of my notebooks at home. So I can't even like write stuff down, plan and all that stuff. So I'm literally just sitting here waiting. I honestly should have stopped at Starbucks first and got something to eat. That way I can at least get on my phone and make some phone calls because y'all I'm starting classes. I think it's pathophysiology and technical writing because there is four more classes I have to do before I can go ahead and finally apply to the nursing program. So far everything's okay. Yes, so I'm about to take pathophysiology, technical writing. And then after that, there's only two more classes I have left that I'm gonna take throughout the, before the next fall, before next fall. I'm not 100% sure just yet, but in my mind, I'm kind of solidified that I wanna take some classes. Um, and I don't think it's gonna be that hard, especially now that I'm through, basically through the course. I have one more test left. So the didactics are done, and the only thing I'm gonna have to do 
is study for the test like a TMC. I have to call the school today just to see if it's too late to register. But um, I believe when I was looking um, at the class start dates, one of them start at the end of January, the other ones start towards the beginning of February. After these two classes, if I can take these two classes, I have two more classes I have to take. I'm gonna try to take those over the summer and then I will be ready to apply to start the actual nursing program. I will be in, uh, I will be officially in nursing school by, um, what is it, fall of 2023 and I'm super excited. So that's what I'm waiting on. Um, it looks like they're forming up now, drill sergeants out here. So let me go ahead and get out here and see what the fuck is going on today. I'm back home with not one clue on what we're doing for the rest of the day. So I'm just waiting to see what everybody's doing. I know the people in the barracks went to that mandatory thing that they had to go to. So yeah, but I'd have to do that. So I'm just home. Honestly, probably about to get a bagel or something like that because I'm kind of hungry. I wasn't able to donate blood today because they said my hemoglobin was too low. Um, they want to see it at like a 12, but I was at like a 9.4 or something like that. Not really 100% sure what that means when it comes to donating blood. I'm going to look it up just to see. But yeah, I'm home for now. I cleaned yesterday. So look at the nice clean living area. I'm actually about to be laying right over here watching some anime because I'm tired. Um, this area over here is not all cluttered, but there is something going on with my washing machine and dryer because it's leaking, right? And whatever in the world is leaking out of here, you see that? Whatever's leaking smells disgusting and I have no clue what to do about it. I did put in a work order and nothing. So I'm probably gonna have to pull out the washer and dryer at some point later today so I can at least dry the water that's back there. Um, see if I can possibly fix it myself, have my roommate look at it. Um, but other than that, yeah. It's about to be a chill day and I'm freezing. It's cold in here. It's about to be a pretty chill day. Is it? It is 65, what the hell? It's 65 degrees in here. Of course it's cold. But yeah, it's about to be a pretty chill day. I don't have anything really planned today. What do I want to do? You know what? I'm about to start getting ready for the New Year's because I do plan on doing the $100 envelope challenge again this year, which was pretty challenging, I won't lie. So I have my envelopes all ready to start in January. And so basically this is a hundred um, envelopes. I got the envelopes off Amazon, a hundred of them, numbered them one through 100, mixed them up. So now they're just in a random order. And then every single week for, I'm thinking I'm gonna do it every Friday. Oh man, I'm tired. But every single week for the week of week, for the year of 2023, I'm gonna get two of these and I am going to fill them at random. That's why I mix them up. That way I can just take two off the top and that's the amount I'll be filling. And I also am looking for inserts for what is going to be my new planner. Now y'all do not get me wrong. This is a dupe of the Louis Vuitton planner MM size medium or mm and it is super cute i really wish i had everything to show you guys how it actually came but this is a dupe okay i wasn't about to pay all that money for a planner but i wanted the planner so i got a nice dupe and i think this is really really nice the leather feels good it's clean it smells good it has this little Louis Vuitton piece here um i guess over here you can put like um cards i won't I, like credit cards and stuff but i won't be putting credit cards there i have a different setup i'm trying to figure out how i want to set my planner up i probably will not be utilizing the piece so this came with it i already took out some of it but i'm not going to be utilizing any of this stuff here um i was going to use this as a cash stuffing envelope 
uh, cash stuffing envelope, cash stuffing binder. But I've since decided that I'm just not going to be doing that. So all of this stuff is going to be coming out and I'm going to be putting all new stuff in there. And then I just have some pictures of me and my little boo thing. So cute. I just have some pictures and stuff in here um, that honestly I want these smaller because I have it, it goes into the plan. It goes into my plan on what I'm going to be doing with my binders. So, yeah. It's just a bunch of pictures of me and him just doing stuff. This is my favorite picture. Oh, shoot. That's my favorite picture. Anyway, so, yeah. It just goes into the plan on what it is that I'm going to be doing with this binder. I'm super, super, super excited because, y'all, look how cute this is tell me this is not the cutest little planner and I feel like it's the perfect size and just wait and see how I'm going to set it up like that's what I can't wait for just wait and see how I'm going to set this bad boy up I am going to link the website down below on where I got this from it's honestly a small business black owned business that I found on Instagram so she has a bunch of little stuff like this she also has a freaking Louis Vuitton purse that honestly I'm going to buy <laughs> it's not expensive at all I'm gonna buy it and it looks good only for me to test out the quality and stuff like that and if it's good that's about to be a new carry for me but this right here I was super excited about this so yeah I cannot wait so I've been on YouTube um, trying to just look at how other people are utilizing their planner how they have their planner set up um, where they're getting their planner inserts and stuff like that from because one I don't know and two I want it really really cute and y'all know me I carry around a notebook like it is a Bible like I need I need I need to have a notebook with me but one thing I've what's going on in there but one thing I've also noticed is I actually need a calendar like I have been forgetting stuff left and right maybe it's the stress they say it's a sign of just being super super stressed out that you just start forgetting any and everything but one thing that has really helped me especially remembering appointments um, certain things that I just have to do on certain days at certain times remembering when people are supposed to be calling stuff like that I'll put it into my phone um, like I'll write it down somewhere or I'll put it into my phone calendar but I'm a I'm more of a physical like notebook carrying type of person so I figure having a physical um, calendar that way I can just jot everything down and this will be my everyday carry so this will be with me in addition to my notebook that I'm currently carrying which is super cute too I'm about to show y'all so this is my current notebook it is green it has like this gold foil of leaves on it and it's super cute and it says write it down and I literally just got this this was I'm tired I ran this was five dollars at Ross and when I say I just got this I didn't even write anything down in it yet so it's blank so in addition to this, I'm going to be utilizing this as well. So these are going to be my everyday carries and I am super. <laughs> Did he pee when he was out there? Of, of course not. Doggy just peed in his cage. Forgot what I was saying. So these are going to be my everyday carries and I cannot wait to get everything set up and organized. So yeah, but what I need to figure out is I want a checklist for my envelopes that I was showing you guys earlier because I kind of want to put that in here because what I plan on doing with this is going to be split into two different things. So I'm going to have like a, a like a divider or something like that, probably a green divider. Um, and one side is going to be like my project folder area and then like the other part, like the other part is going to be like my actual um calendar to-do list meal plan stuff like that so just stay tuned if you really want to see how this turns out i know for some people it's super boring but for me this is something that i actually need like i have to have something like this so if you want to see how it turns out and what i do to it go ahead stay tuned hit that subscribe button and also check out the link below and this is not sponsored by the way this is not sponsored i just really 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 like um 
this product i really like her um website i like the way this came i cannot like it was a little bag and everything that it came in do i still have it no i don't still have it but that's besides the point the point is just go if you if you if you're not above buying a nice dupe go ahead and go to the website but i'm about to go ahead and clean this freaking pee up that my dog just did and i'm gonna talk to y'all in a little bit y'all i look a straight up mess right now because my hair is all poofy anyway y'all i did not charge my freaking camera today Ugh, my hair i really look a mess today i cannot believe i came outside looking like this today i mean i'm in pts what can i say but i still feel like i look i just look a mess i could have actually done something with my hair this morning i didn't do anything with it at all I'm tired i didn't get any sleep last night yo this is making me so mad I didn't get any sleep last night. I felt like I was doing a lot of tossing and turning. You know what? <sighs> Fuck it, let me just wear my damn fro. Just going over it. <laughs> why, why would you do this to yourself, Andrea? Why would you come outside looking like this? I'm at Starbucks. I came and got Starbucks for me and my roommate. I got us some brown sugar oat milk shake and espressos which we didn't like last time because they did them wrong hopefully they did them right this time and then some sandwiches i got us two sandwiches each and i'm only getting breakfast from here which was kind of fucking expensive and i shouldn't have um it's because i just don't feel like going to get breakfast stuff right now like i feel like we have a few groceries in the house but we don't have salt so the food that i want i need salt like my eggs and stuff like that i don't have any salt or anything like that for my eggs so I have to go out a little bit later so I can grab that. I need to grab cat food and some kitty litter and stuff like that. So I got things to do later today. I just don't feel like doing it right now because I am tired, I am exhausted. I haven't been getting sleep at night for the past like month, two months maybe. Like I just, I'm slowly sure. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going crazy because I'm tired all the time. <sighs> my goodness i actually just left work and i signed out on leave like i told y'all i wasn't going to take leave at least i think i told y'all i wasn't going to take leave but my plans weren't to take leave this year because why like why waste leave days if i'm not doing anything if i don't have anything planned but your girl signed out on leave i got my freaking leave form right here because the task for today was to clean the area where all the drill sergeants be hell no just as simple as that hell no i haven't had the strength the energy the mental capacity to even clean my own grid what the fuck makes you think i want to clean somebody else's domain where they're not even at all the time when i can't even clean my own grid where i'm at all the time i'm not doing it so yeah i'm like i just man i'm gonna go ahead and sign on out right now because no you gonna come to my house and help me clean jeez so I signed on leave, which is fine. There's only a few more days left on leave anyway, but I just wasn't doing that today. I don't got it in me. I don't have it in me. So I decided to get up and get dressed. And as you can see, I put my Afro back in action. Vlogging. Put my Afro back in action. I got on my Baby Yoda outfit, Star Wars outfit. So honestly, I have no clue where we're, what we're doing exactly. Is looking at a puppy involved? Huh? What are we doing? What do you mean? Where are we going? To the Botanical Gardens, look at a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to, to the Botanical Gardens and to look at a puppy. Look at another doggy. Dang, I feel like I should have worn something different. Cause do you think the botanical, wait, did you go by the botanical gardens? Did you see it? What, see what? Like, did you see it? No, I didn't see anything. Uh, I hope I'm not dressed too casual. So I can get some good pictures. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's pic, I don't know if it's picture, Hot. No. This is like casual wear. I'm trying to show y'all my outfit, but. I need new lens. Hold on for that. Say hi. She's gonna be living when she grew up. You 
don't want to be. Got a camera. She got a camera. Wow. I already had a camera. First of all, I'm oldest, so he want to be like me when he grows. Oh, he wanted to be like me so bad. I was in a hydrobolic. He chamber. decided to get the same. I was in a hydrobolic birthday, chamber. The same favorite color. You like using my words. <laughs> Your words. Yeah, my words. Wow, I'm bigger and I'm better. Whatever. Where is my tripod? Do you see my black tripod? Uh, the the man Frodo, the hand one. I haven't seen it. Is it in there? Oh shoot! I haven't seen this in so long. Found it. I need to get an extra battery for this camera. I want a new camera. Tiny battery. Look at smallest thing. It's a micro little tiny thing. It's a vlog. It's a little camera. Anywho, botanical gardens, looking at a puppy. And honestly, that's just about it. And I need to get out the house. And my armpits are sweating. And I saw some deodorant up here, didn't I? Not over here. 128. And that's about it. I'm about to enjoy the last few days we have left on leave. So much better. Man, what do you mean? Wait, like the actual lens of the camera? No, like the, the cap that goes around. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I need to get the 30 millimeter lens. This was my main style camera. Um, what is this? This is the EOS Rebel T4i. What do you have? And he got the T6. T6. Oh, he thinks he's better than me. A little bit. A little he's bit better. Fancy. <laughs> A little bit better. <laughs> but I have this and I want to, um, I thought about trading this in, but first I want to get a new lens just to see if the quality is going to be a little bit better. Um, get a STM lens. I think they told me to get a STM lens. That way it's quiet when it autofocus. Cause this one right here, I have to get an external mic because this autofocus is so loud. It's absolutely ridiculous. But other than that, I like the camera. I feel like I don't know, I feel like the quality is okay, but I feel like another lens would definitely do it. I don't even know what size this is. 18 to 55? Yeah, I want the 30. Which lens is this? Mm -hmm. Is that the, yeah, that's the same one I got. You wanna be like me? I think that's the kit lens though. I think that's what comes with the camera, right? Yeah. Cause mine's came with the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what came with the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good for taking pictures, yeah. It's good for taking pictures, not video. My bad, my bad. Thank All you. in my way. Just made it to Botanical Gardens. It is so gross that it is December and it's this warm ah. out. Yeah, I'm in shorts. <laughs> and it's hot. It, it feels soon. this warm. It's so steamy. I am disappointed. But yeah, I think this is where they have the lights at. We should come like tonight or tomorrow. I don't know, I just saw the end of the sign said the tent, the, what did it say? Lightscape? Oh, I see something right there. Oh yeah, shuttle pick up and drop off. Oh. <sighs> yeah. This is the light place. I think there's more than one light place though. There's uh, like a walkthrough light place? Maybe. It looked like it because I thought people the card. taking actual pictures. Uh, yeah, a different one would like to walk with. Yeah. It was so easy when we met Future ahead of us making
keep holding on to your past yeah. Get out, get under and just relax And that's what my friends are telling me We just finished up at the botanical garden and y'all look how much my freaking afro afro this freaking sun is in the way look how much this afro frizz frizzled up it's not even i mean it's still moving we're about to go and see the puppies yes the puppies the little puppies oh, my toe hurts the little puppies ouch and then go grab something to eat Yes, yeah, because I'm hungry. Me I need too. food in my stomach. Burgers. Burgers. Big ass burgers. No, nah, that's okay. I can be there before then. Okay, so do you want to just cancel it out? Yeah, yeah, I'll cancel it out. Okay. All right. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that was all for now. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy the rest of your day. You as well. Bye-bye. Tell me why my slow ass just ran out of gas. And I something told me, like I knew I needed to stop and get gas and I didn't anyway. And we ended up pulling up to the red light and the car just went, like started shaking and turned off. And instantly I remembered, instantly I knew I forgot to get gas. I literally told myself earlier to get gas. He told me earlier to get gas and I didn't get gas and we ran out of gas. Yeah, my roommate just left to walk. Um, He took the puppy with him to walk. Um, right up the street to um, grab his car because the thing is the house is literally up the street but I want to say it's about four or five blocks up the street so he's just gonna walk it grab his car go get some gas so he can come and put it in my car and um, yeah I'm such a dumb ass bitch god damn I'm so stupid I'm so mad <laughs> I guess he just gonna walk it but I feel so stupid I feel so dumb I'm embarrassed and I'm is what I get for not listening. So now I'm here. But oh my God, I'll see y'all when I get home because my camera about to die anyway. My phone about to die. I'm just here like a dummy. <laughs> the car said, <laughs> going home? <laughs> How you gonna go home with no gas, stupid? Oh my God, I'm so <laughs> dumb. Just dumb. Just so, 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 so dumb. Be happy. Y'all, my, so oh, my, my camera's still dying. I didn't make it home just yet. I got gas. I'm actually at the gas station right now, filling up. But tell me why, when we came back to put the gas in the car, my battery was dead. So I also had to jump my car on top of that. Y'all, tonight has been, it's been a night. It's been a night and I'm about to go home, shower, eat, and just chill because today, I'm done with today. I'm done with today. All right, forget it. I think this is as good as it's gonna get because I just spent the last 20 minutes trying to figure out how to put this camera in a place where I need it to be. And that's it. I even tried, so this thing here, 
I tried putting that up. I can't even find the piece. So there, you know, the base piece. There's a piece. Hold on. Cause where in the world did it just go? This is truly insane to me. You know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe it flew all the way in the back. I don't know. The way things just disappear in this car and it's seen no more really pisses me off. I literally just had this and then the base piece. So remember when I was saying that I didn't want to stick the base piece onto my dashboard because I didn't want it to mess up my dashboard. Like I don't want it to leave any like sticky residue or like when I go to pull it off, I don't want it to like rip up a part of my dashboard. So I didn't want to put it up there. Y'all, I just gave in and I tried to put it on there anyway. Why don't stick? The base part did not stick at all. Like not even a little bit. So I can't use this. So I'm gonna have to find something else. But um, yeah, what am I about to do actually? I am about to go and run some errands. I have to get a money order to pay my rent because y'all, I would pay it online, which would be convenient, but their convenience fee for you to pay your rent online is 30 something dollars. And I'll be damned if I'm paying an extra 30 something dollars just to pay my rent online. I've heard of convenient fees and stuff like that, but I've never heard of a convenience fee that's as much as, it's over $30, it's like 36 and some change. Who does that? Not only are these apartments crappy, they have the audacity to have that freaking convenience fee so much. So every month I go and get a money order. Like my roommate sends me his part of the rent. I go, I go and I pick up a money order and go pay rent that way. I also have to run to the store. I have to grab some groceries. And then, do I have to do anything else today? Ooh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Okay, so I just finished getting my money order and stuff. I'm about to go ahead and head over to the, the PX. I have to go to the PX. Is it down this road? No, I'm gonna go this way. I have to head over to the PX so I can grab these slides. And the reason I'm grabbing slides, the slides aren't even for me, the slides are for my roommate because my cat peed on his slides. And if you have a cat, you already know, once that cat pee gets into something, it's so hard to get it out, especially if you can't wash it and who's about to just wash slides over and over again. So I'm just about to go um, and grab him a new pair of slides. So I tried to do it yesterday, but I forgot to check to see what size he wore. And then my Starbucks and probably go to the comments there to start getting some of the groceries and stuff that I want to get. Do I want to go to the comments area? Oh yes, yes I do. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go to the comments area and get some of the stuff that I need to get because they have this sushi that I really like that I wanna grab as well, so. All right, so I just finished up in the PX and I got this perfume. Only because they had a lot of perfume and stuff on sale. It's real tree for her and I'm not even sure. I'm not sure. It's just this perfume right here. And I really like it. It smells really, it smells really fresh. And this is what the bottle looks like. And I love the detail on the lid. That is super cute. I like this bottle a lot. It smells so fresh. Like this is a nice, fresh smelling perfume. Like this is, it's like a night, it's like an everyday wear for the daytime perfume and it just smells so good. And it's crazy. This was only $13. Like originally, I guess it's $16, but why haven't I seen this before? Why haven't I smelled this before? Because it smells so good. It's a nice, fresh, straight out the shower. <sighs> a nice scent. And I also got, these are the slides that I ended up getting <laughs> from my roommate. I got him two pair actually. So I got these. And I also got these. They didn't have any real options though, but these were the nicest ones that I saw. So yeah, I got these pair. I was supposed to have gotten some kitty litter out of there, but I didn't because it was like super crowded and I really didn't want to be in there. Oh, I, I want to, is to, uh, 
shy when it comes to you but i guess you're curious huh so let me show you what i can do cause i i don't mind taking my time to stay in this bed now never get out cause i would love to can't be replaced it's the next day and i am back at the px because i got so i got the right size shoe but apparently with slide you're supposed to go up a size i never have this issue because every last pair of shoe that i put on that's at least a six and a half usually fits so i'm just up here to um switch out the shoes hopefully they have a bigger size like a size up a half size or a size up in these in these because he did say he liked both of them um i just needed a bigger size but y'all i'm trying to figure out if this is the receipt i'm pretty sure this is the receipt from the px that i use and i only say that because usually the name okay this this has to be it because usually i know i spent around 77 dollars y'all these days i really don't know how much i be spending but this gotta be it but it don't have the like you would think exchange would be on this receipt somewhere or px or something <laughs> but it's not so i'm gonna go ahead and take this receipt in there if it's not the right receipt i'm just gonna get store credit and then get the shoes with the store credit it really is not a big deal but um yeah yeah and i'm about to stop at starbucks grab me another drink so i'm gonna see y'all when i get in here um because i don't think i have much else to do today i'm waiting for my stuff from amazon to be delivered i had ordered um a journal well a planner um, a little um, security box thing. I ordered a food. Is all that going to fit in the thing? I don't know. I just know I ordered a few things that I'm just waiting for it to come. So hopefully I get that delivery notification that it's made it to the little Amazon pickup thing before I go back home. Because while I'm out running errands right now, I should have just waited for it to say delivered. But it don't matter. Anyway, I'll see y'all in a bit. y'all let me explain i'm sweaty oh my gosh y'all hold on wait i can't think i can't i can't focus mama see okay hold on let me just get situ let me get situated let me get situated y'all i just let's um y'all look when i say my anxiety was just through the roof in this freaking store my anxiety was through the roof and let me tell y'all why so y'all remember a clip ago when i was in a car and i was like i don't know if this is e is even a receipt but y'all i'm trying to figure out if this is the receipt i'm pretty sure this is so i have another receipt and this is what i was talking about this is what i was expecting to see on the receipt and this wasn't on the receipt there was literally nothing not even the like the stuff that i bought <laughs> was on the receipt so I go in and I go back to the shoes because when I'm exchanging something I don't go to customer service first I go and I get whatever I need to get first that way when I go to customer service I have everything that I need because sometimes that customer service line be long and I don't want to go sit in the customer service line and do I don't know that's just my process okay that's that's my logical way of dealing with having to return something at a store I end up getting the shoes that I needed unfortunately they did not have his size in the shoes that I originally had so I ended up getting some I don't know y'all tell me so I feel like these are cute cuter anyway Hold on. so these are the shoes I got I don't even know can y'all see that it's like a brown thing you can't even see it hold on turn this down a little bit see if you can see it you see that it's like a tan brown color and he just bought a um a jogging suit that would match these perfectly i feel like so i hope i did a good job on picking that out why is this camera being crazy anyway so 
they didn't have the size for him that I needed. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm just going to get this size, but I'm going to return the other ones that I bought. And I'm just going to go to a completely different store and find a second pair. Cool. So I go over to customer service, right, to exchange my stuff. And that's when all hell broke loose because I put the shoes on the on, on the counter. I hand her the receipt and she goes, oh, no, this isn't the receipt. I need the, I need the receipt, mama. And I'm like, that is the receipt. No, this is the wrong receipt. And I'm like, but that's the one that came out of the machine yesterday when I purchased the stuff. No, this isn't a receipt. Where'd you get this? And it came out of the machine when I purchased the stuff. I was embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. I started sweating like crazy. I'm stuttering over my words because this lady just yelled damn near. This isn't paid for, basically. She said, basically, that prints out when the transaction don't go through and i'm like no but it did go through because it, it said thank you for shopping or like the whole thank you thing that the register gives to you she was showing me the receipt and she's like see i think you put in the wrong pin maybe this is what happens when you put in the wrong pin she shows me the receipt and it says verified by pin and i said no but it says verified so wouldn't that mean I put the right pin in if it says verified? My card was verified by the pin. She scans something and she's looking through the computer and she's like, and it doesn't say suspended. Like the order, the transaction wasn't suspended or anything. She's, she was just so confused. I was so confused and embarrassed. I'm over here like this. The manager comes over. Everybody's trying to figure out what happened. And now I'm getting the side eye by some of the employees. Cause now it's like four or five people standing there now. And I'm like, it looking at it i know people do that i know people like purchase stuff and then they'll come back and try to return it but i don't know i don't even know how that works i just know i know people do that and so in my mind i'm trying to like convince them that i didn't steal this shit i'm like i didn't steal it so i don't know how well i'm explaining that in this little story time but basically what i was trying to explain is y'all know how when people go into a store and they'll steal something and then they'll come back later and try to return it for like store credit or something like that that's what these people thought that i was trying to do and that's not what i was trying to do at all i know it just did not look right but i promise you that's not what i was trying to do i genuinely thought i paid for the stuff is what i was trying to explain to them and basically their machines don't work so i said i was vlogging yesterday i'm like i was vlogging and i showed her um like the little clip that i took and i didn't even get uh i i, I wasn't i'm sorry i'm still flustered I wasn't even able to get a good clip because one people are weird like they're just watching me and stuff like that trying to like record and get a good um angle so i just like recorded something really quick and i left and so i'm like i was vlogging yesterday and i pull out my phone and i'm like okay so see here that's my car that's my card in a machine this is me putting in my pen like that that's that's me and then i show where the receipt came out because i wanted to record myself grabbing the receipt i grabbed the receipt put it in the bag and then i get the bag and i'm leaving i said that's me like i didn't steal it like i i i thought i was purchasing it at this time i'm also looking through my bank transactions and i'm i'm thinking to myself i'm like well i'll be there the transaction is not in my transaction history oh my god i stole it these people i'm going to jail they're gonna think i stole it it was an accident y'all i was just so embarrassed like oh my goodness and then she was saying no she's gonna have to pay for this i'm like no i don't want to pay for it because i came here to give it back to you all i came here to return it to get something else and she's like well add that up and see if it totals up to 77 dollars and some change and i'm telling the lady i'm like no i already told you it's not those two pair of shoes it's not going to total up to 77 dollars and some change because i also bought a 13 ish dollar perfume that was on sale and um she's like well where's the perfume at home i'm keeping the perfume like, well you're gonna have to pay for that i know that's not the problem I will pay for these shoes that I actually want. I will pay for the perfume. And so she's like, well, can you like go and get it? Or do you remember which one it is? Yes, I remember which one it is. It was literally just last night when I purchased this. I I, I can understand what it looks like. I can understand what it looks like. Um, So yeah, yeah, I got caught accidentally stealing from the PX and I'm so embarrassed. But I'm glad because when the manager came over um, at some point in the conversation, she just started apologizing. She's like, I'm so sorry. I don't know how this happened. So then the people in the line wasn't side eyeing me anymore like, oh, okay. Okay, so this black bitch ain't stealing. Got it. She cool. She's cool. <sighs> Let me read. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to go ahead and close this vlog out. I honestly don't even remember where I left off 
in this vlog and excuse the quality i'm currently on my phone because i just did not feel like getting up and going to get my camera i just want to hurry up and close this vlog out that way i can start editing that way i can get on to the next video so yeah that's what i'm doing here i don't know what i'm doing for the rest of the day but obviously in the next vlog after this one you're gonna see if you guys have any questions comments concerns make sure you leave those down below don't forget to like this video because liking my videos do help throw me into the algorithm and make sure you subscribe if you like this type of content or you want to see what i have planned and what i have going on in 2023 all right see you guys on the next video bye Yeah.